So here's a review of some basic integer operations. And again, here's a quick disclaimer. This is a review. It assumes that at some point you learned how to do arithmetic with sign numbers, but for whatever reason, you need a refresher. And so it consists of a sequence of rules for operating with sign numbers, followed by some examples. This is by far the worst way to learn mathematics. You cannot effectively learn mathematics by memorizing a set of rules and following the examples. This is a horrible way of learning mathematics and if you haven't already learned how to do arithmetic with signed numbers you won't be able to learn how to do arithmetic with signed numbers by watching this video instead I suggest you watch these videos now so let's take a look at some of these basic rules for integer arithmetic for addition and subtraction given two integers a and B I have the following rules apply so the negative of a plus the negative of b is the same as the negative of a plus b. So I can take that negative and I can add the two uh, unsigned values. a plus negative b is the same as a minus b. a minus a negative b is the same as a plus b. Negative a minus b is the same as b minus a. In other words, I can take a subtraction. The negative of that is the subtraction in the other order. And if I use the commutative and associative properties, the key to these rules is that I can transform one integer expression into a different one. And maybe I don't know how to do the one side, but I can do the right hand side. And so this is a general approach to dealing with integer addition and subtraction. Uh, for example, consider negative 4 plus negative 6. So now I have the sum of two negatives. And so I have this property that negative a plus negative b is the same as negative quantity a plus b. Now a useful thing to do when you're reviewing stuff is to write, 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 and write. Paper is cheap, pencil is cheap, understanding is priceless. So what I might want to do is I might want to copy down this rule, negative a plus negative b is the same as negative a plus b, and then compare what I want to work with with what I have. And here evidently a is 4, b is is 6 and so I can copy this over this is negative 4 plus 6 and I know how to do 4 plus 6 that's an addition of whole numbers and the parentheses say do that first so the inside of the parentheses ne is going to be 10 and the outside negative whatever that is and at this point there's nothing to do inside the parentheses so I can just drop them out and there's my sum well how about 8 minus 12 well, again, 12 is more than 8, so I can't subtract 12 from 8, but that's okay. I have this property of integer arithmetic that says I can convert a subtraction into a different subtraction. The negative of a minus b is the same as b minus a. And the thing about that equals is that I can write this in either order. If I have this, I have this. If I have this, I have that. Well, I have the subtraction, so let's see what I can do with that. So again, I'll set down my uh, I'll set down my values here, and this eight minus twelve that really goes on the right hand side here. This is eight minus twelve, and I'll compare once again. B is eight, A is twelve. I'll substitute those into our formula. That's negative twelve minus eight. And again, parentheses say do this first, so I'll take care of that twelve minus eight. That's four. And now this is, well, the parentheses say do this first, but there's nothing else I can do, so I no longer need the parentheses, and I can drop them out. For minus negative 6, well, this is a subtraction of a negative, so I can use the property of integer arithmetic. A minus negative B is the same as A plus B. And again, I can write down the rule and compare what I have. So here's a minus negative b. I can compare what I have. This a is going to be, let's see, so that's negative 4. Must be that a is negative 4. And b is going to be 6. So that's going to give me a plus b, negative 4 plus 6. Well, maybe I don't know what that is. Maybe I don't know what negative 4 plus 6 is equal to. So again, I can reuse the properties of arithmetic. I can use the commutative property and rewrite it as 6 plus negative 4. Addition can be performed in whatever order we want. So that's 6 plus negative 4. And there's another property of integer arithmetic. a plus negative b is the same as a minus b. So here's a plus negative b. 
and that's the same as 6 minus 4, and I know how to do that. That's going to be equal to 2. 8 plus negative 10, again, I could begin with the property. A plus negative B is the same as A minus B, so 8 plus negative 10 is the same as 8 minus 10, but I can't subtract 10 from 8, so now I'll use that property. A minus B is the same as negative, do the subtraction in the reverse order. So instead of 8 minus 10, I have negative 10 minus 8, and I do know, parentheses to say, do this first, and I know what 10 minus 8 is. 10 minus 8 is 2, and that parentheses, there's nothing to do inside, so I don't really need those parentheses anymore. My final answer, negative 2. 5 minus 8 minus negative 4. Again, subtraction is commutative and associative, and it's helpful. This is not a subtraction, but the rules of integers allow me to convert subtractions into additions. So let's go ahead and do that to make our lives easier. 5 minus 8, that's the same thing as 5 plus negative 8. Here's another subtraction, minus negative 4, that's the same as plus negative negative 4. And so I have this property of integer arithmetic that negative negative a is the same as a. So negative negative 4 is the same as 4. And I have an addition. I can write this in any order that I want to. So maybe I'll write it this way, where I have the non-negative numbers first. I know how to add those. I have my negative number at the end. I have the property a plus a negative is the same as a minus b. So this 9 plus negative 8 is the same as 9 minus 8. And I know how to do that. That's going to be 1. 